What's up guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. We made it down here to the track. We're at Galat Motorsports Park and we are testing and tuning. A lot of people heading out to war in the woods today, today, tonight, this weekend. We're not going to be able to make it. We just are completely untested with this thing and it's not working good. I shouldn't say we're untested. What I should say is we're tested and we suck. We suck right now. But we made a lot of changes. We got a good tune up in it. Tune up wise, off the trailer. I'm going to share time sets with y'all again today. If it goes, it ought to be like a 510, maybe like a 510, 505, 515, somewhere in that range is what we're hoping for. Hopefully it works and goes down. Y'all comment, like, and subscribe if y'all want to support the channel. Head on over to turbojohnracing.com. Grab yourself some hats and t-shirts. Thanks, guys. All right, guys, well, we're out here. Randy pulled the hot rod on down out here. Look how low this thing is in the back. Uh, we might need to jack the ride height up just a tad on the back. Uh, so I don't know. Uh, Milton's down here. Brad is down here. He's doing some drone stuff. I don't know if Courtney and Brandon and all those guys are making it. I know Uncle Mike is not going to make it tonight. So they got the lanes open, test and tune, radial prep. Uh, track is starting to fill up, of course. It's a lot. So it's going to be fun. It's Thursday night test and tune. Weather is actually really nice. How you guys doing? Y'all having fun? Y'all ready? Yeah. Let's go, baby. Let's go. We're going to try to get us our personal best today. Uh, and that shouldn't be hard to beat. We went a five, 518. I mean, I'm just saying. So I can already see the thumbnail. You click baited me. Uh, if it goes faster than a 518, it's going to say, boost the big block personal best is fast. I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all. It don't matter. 517 that's fine i mean it, as long as it's personal best so uh let's get this thing warmed up real fast crank it up i did also finally got me ordered a uh cell phone holder so so if i do this properly i shouldn't lose the cell phone out the back of the car and i should be able to get some uh draggy data when i was sticking the draggy in my shirt in my jacket it was jumping on facebook and twitter and like i get down i mean it was it was still recording somehow that's nice but uh, yeah, it was only it was cheap. It was like thirty bucks or something. Only so. the YouTube. I know, right? I exactly. It. I'm surprised there ain't no telling. You went live. What? All right, here we go. Let's crank it up.
Anyway, guys, well, we didn't get personal best that time. Uh, we do have 250 pounds of weight in it, and but it drove off pretty good. 130, 347, 520 at 143. So I'm not unhappy with that. I mean, if that would have been a 10, that would have been a 10. So all we gotta do, I mean, it's moving the weight. Uh, Derek got a good video too. Hey, I got that video, thank you. So uh, we did have a slight problem. Milton, what did I say was gonna happen? Big Mac got caught all in the torque converter and we pulled the home alone. That's, dude, <laughs> look, we put, that, we put another piece of Big Mac down there and I just told Milton, I said, Milton, I said, this is gonna get caught in that flex plate at some point. I said, it'll be all right. Hey, look above your head right there. Look on the roll cage. <laughs> <laughs> look, I didn't, have, if I'd had the GoPro inside, when it exploded, I knew exactly what it was. It looked like fur went everywhere. That's what it felt like, home alone. It felt like I got fur. I was like, are you kidding me right now? I knew it was gonna happen. So now we gotta get all the big pieces out and then we'll take the blower and blow the little pieces out. Isn't that hilarious? Look, it blowed it all the way back there. It was all in my doggone, it was in my helmet. It was all over my face. Look, it's in my helmet down there. It is, uh, we're gonna have to come up with a way to secure the pig mat <laughs> in the drip pan. Yeah. Right, guys well here is the tune-up stuff the yellow line is rear shock you see it's still got a pretty big separation so we're going to tighten up the shocks a little bit on the back uh got a lot of time in retard boost curve we did make 16 pounds of boost and it's kind of breaking up a little bit down here uh so 16 and a half pounds of boost like i said it went a 520 at 143 but we ain't got really much timing in it and the air fuel ratio is probably kind of fat so we're gonna pull a couple spark plugs and look at the plugs. So it was definitely misfiring. Uh, first time messing with big block Chevrolet, they got big slow chambers. So we may end up having to uh, make some changes here. Let's see. Right, guys uh well we are done we made a few changes charging the battery still picking this stuff out of the car that's it looks like now it looks like a rat's nest in there honestly it looks like mice have been in there or squirrels and they've been uh winter hibernating we got most of it out but some of us it's just it's gonna be a problem getting out uh verified the time and pulled the plugs uh plugs look pretty good we do have a lot of attempts on it uh, i had 26 degrees about 16 and a half 
uh, degree, 16 and a half ounce boost, and 16 and a half, uh, 26 and a half degrees of timing, 3.9 air fuel ratio, a little bit. So I put a little bit of timing in it. We're gonna see if it runs a little bit better. It looks like it needs some timing. Uh, big block Chevrolet, big, lazy, slow timber. I know that we have, you know, pretty high compression, but uh, 143 mile an hour, uh, we're gonna need to, I was hoping about 20 pounds of boost, we we're gonna be able to run about 155. So uh, we're not quite there. So uh, let's go, let's go make a pass. Guys, look like we saw some sparks. Looks like he probably broke his drive shaft or something in the rear end. It was sparky, sparky.
that's a personal best. Personal best. Let's sh I'm going to share the tickets with y'all. Like I said, I'm going to share it tonight. Let's see what we got here. I haven't pulled the data log yet. 127, 337, 503, at 149. Woo, boy, that's personal best. Uh, personal best with this car. So uh, we're gonna cool it down. Uh, you know, you gotta remember, when we first had this thing out, it was 250 pounds lighter. So 250 pounds lighter is a lot. And I still got eight degrees, I still got eight degrees of timing retard in this thing. So, I mean, we got a lot of timing retard in it still, so we're gonna start pecking away at that and see what we can do. We'll pull the data log here, let's see what we got.